Shortly after 9 p.m., social media was awash with the new cabinet list released by State House. Political analysts say that while there have been some surprises on the list, some changes were expected, like the dropping of both ministers for Karamoja affairs. And to me, I think there, the president was reacting to the calls and cries of people of Karamoja on how the Mawat issue was handled. And I believe these two have become the sacrificial arms. Actually, if they go back and win their constituencies in 2026, don't be surprised if they come back as more powerful ministers. We are almost a quarter of the roadmap for 2026 elections and any political actor who wants to realign their troops in order to garner more support in the elections, this is the time to, to get organized. Another cabinet minister dropped was Vincent Vamlangachi Sempija, who has been Defense and Veteran Affairs Minister, hailing from Masakasa Bridgen, now replaced by Jacobo Botho Both, hailing from Tororosa Bridgen. Could this be an indictment on the outgoing minister for failure to mobilize support for the ruling party in the region and reward for the people of Tororo? The removal the move of Sempija could be part of the wider reform within the defense structures whereby the president is bringing in new players, is bringing in new commanders, is bringing in new faces. He wants to, get, to create a winning team. There could have been misunderstandings between him and his boss in regards to the methods of work. And even initially, Simpija was appointed after a very dismal performance of the NRA. So if that was the reason, then he shouldn't have been appointed even in the very first place. The new cabinet has also seen the appointment of key figures behind the recently introduced Patriotic League of Uganda, loyal to the first son, General Mhose Kainerugaba. These include PLU Vice President Balam Barugahara and Lilian Abe, as well as MP Fiona Nyamtoro. Could these particular appointments be preparing the ground for the first son ahead of the 2026 polls? We have the capacity to mobilize the youth for the right cause, and that's why the president is choosing on them. So if one political actor identifies very good mobilizers and, and, and puts them in their cabinet, it really shows that President Museven has his eyes on the youth vote, which is the largest on the voter register. It's estimated that there will be 10 million voters and above. The president is just making it clear to whoever was doubting the Mohozi project, that maybe it is just a Passover, maybe it is a, a political mockery, maybe it is a, a political diversion, that no man, look, it is no longer that, it is a serious business. Let us get these people into cabinet, they learn the dynamics of running a government for their preparation ahead, that maybe when their time comes, these people are not just political amateurs, they are just people who know what to do. Other new faces brought on board, Wilson Mbasumbadi, the former CDF, who has been appointed State Minister of Trade, Kenneth Omona, former PPS, who has been appointed Minister of State for Northern Uganda, and Florence Wamala Nambozo, who has been appointed State Minister for Karamoja. While some sections of the public think that the appointment of key figures from the Patriotic League of Uganda could be a strategic move to weaken the pressure group ahead of the 2026 polls, some analysts say this is simply boosting the cabinet with fresh youthful energies and preparing the country for a political transition. General Moskene,